a long piece of headband fabric, a pair of scissors, and a can. I think this can do hey, it. Hey, shut up! Hey! I'm trying to, here. I'm trying to make an Elaga trap! First things first, this plastic cup, we've each had one since the very beginning of staying here. It's a month old, we just keep reusing it. Obviously, I'm, I fail all the time with plastic, but at least we're just reusing, reusing, reusing as much as we can. Second thing, I was really emo this morning. I woke up and I was just sitting on the floor upstairs, listening to music, and I started crying. And I wrote about that on my Facebook page. If you want to read about it, uh, it's okay. It's okay to feel emotional and let it out and cry. Know that you're not the only one. Um, I'm feeling good though. And today isn't about being emotional. It's about pumping some vitamin C into my system. This is lemon, calamansi, concentrate, and just water. And uh, taking down this rat. I'm gonna sit here and think about how I'm gonna take down this rat. I'm gonna drink this, get my vitamin C up. Brett's working out. This afternoon, the alaga is going down. Going down, alaga. Rat face. All right, me and Brett are doing this. He's making a trap, I'm making a trap. It's a trapping afternoon, and then tonight, hopefully we're gonna catch this Ilaga. You can look at Brett now, and Brett just say something. Boo, 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 boo. Come on, everybody, everybody, boo. Okay guys, this is it. We have the Elaga plan. 
Now what you're looking at here is a rat. Kind of looks like a weird bird with four legs, but anyways, I tried to draw a rat. This here is gonna be a plank, okay? We gotta get this rat to go up this plank into a bucket. What I'm hoping is that he'll climb up this thing, we'll do something up top here that will make him fall into this bucket, into the too big, Patai sa ilaga. Ilaga plan. Let's find a bucket, let's get some supplies, let's figure this out. Okay guys, so the plan right now, go around via Hero, search for things I can use to build this ilaga trap. Um, the notice is a bit slippery in the jungle. I watered the plants. Thanks for reminding me. I think out here, yes. There's a screen bucket, okay? I'm gonna use the screen bucket. Take it around. And let's go take a look at the unique back section here. It's a lot of stuff, it's like the supply area. So I know this looks like a pile of junk, uh, but this is actually a pile of treasure. A lot of stuff back here that you can use to make cool stuff with. Uh, eventually this will be turned into like a back barbecue kind of shower area as well. Um, but for now, there's a lot of things I think I can use to catch a rat. So I'm gonna look around. This is good. It's like the perfect ramp. I think this will uh, act well for the most to go up for the rat. Butter, this way, butter. Come on, butter, butter. Come on, let's go. Be dangerous back there for butter, so Brett closes this off. It's really good. Again, very caring with butter. Okay, uh, Brett, Bit Bit, has gone crazy teaching in there. Uh, I'm gonna put my rat chop together here, let's do this. I just hear him screaming in the house. A bucket. A piece of wood. A garbage bag I found. A long piece of headband fabric. A pair of scissors. And a can. I think this can do hey, it. Shut up! Hey! I'm trying to, draw here. I'm trying to make an Elaga trap! You know what, Brett? No, get your out of here. Piss off. Shut the door. Okay? Goodbye. Hey, Sabadia! Sabadia! Historia, eh? If you didn't know that expression, Brett's been very Historia, eh? He's just riling me up. <laughs> Anyways, let's build this. Okay, we're going GoPro head mode. Because I actually got to work and figure this out now, so. Okay. I think I'm just going to take this. Yeah. So plan one is just get this 
garbage bag uh, on top of the bucket. The key here, I'm gonna try and make this really elasticy on. I want it to be really, really tight across the top of this bin. Oh shoot. Okay, so what I've done is I've tied with the headband fabric uh, this garbage bag so it's kind of flush like a roof on this bucket. Now, marker, can. I'm gonna use these to make some holes in the top. Maybe towards the middle. I'm just gonna mark it out. I'm cutting holes right now uh, along the top of the bag. That fits through, that fits through, that fits through. Whew. Holes are complete. As you can see, we have that. Now the only thing I'm worried about is this is pretty wiggly. Okay, I was gonna use this, but I'm gonna go look for a different piece because it's a little bit wiggly and a bit long. And I think that's just gonna fall off, so gotta find something else. Okay, the moment of truth has arrived and teacher Brady, as I heard earlier, uh, <laughs> can't take him seriously. I want him to uh, say what he actually thinks about my rat trap. The Laga trap. All right, bro. Hey. What do you think? Anyways, three holes, gonna rub some peanut butter around the holes, gonna hug some peanuts in the bucket. Brett has the flippy one over here. So if you hit this thing, it moves. And then in the bottom, there's water. Just like that. Ah, oh, so it's gotta fish its way under. Yeah, it's, it's really gotta got snack on top. It's really gotta like lean its head in. This is what I want. I want it to like, I'll just lean its head in and fall in the hole. Yes. I think it's a good idea. What about in the bottom? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna huck, uh, I'll show you one sec, hold up. I'm just gonna huck some more because we got lots of peanut butter here. Obviously, I'm not one to say waste food, but we don't want this rat to kill our dog. Yeah, this isn't poison either. Yeah. This, isn't... this is like, the rat, a rat can be, as I've been reading all these comments the past few days. Scary. Really scary, man. It can like, it could kill us. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna grab this quickly here too. Got that done. Just crushed up some peanuts. Now what I'm gonna do is just put Ooh, a few little, little sprinkle. Sprinkle to lead them up here. Put a bunch in the bin. I'm gonna put a little side. Oh, oh, look at it's already weighing down. So that means it's a pretty good. Uh, yeah, you did well, man. Pretty good weight. So he's he can go either A or B. I'm not sure if I can hear the rat already, dude. You hear that? Okay, it's 5.40 p.m. April the 13th. We're gonna leave this out here now and I'll leave the GoPro for the first 20 minutes, but obviously we don't think it's gonna be that quick. And let's see what happens some hours from now. Hopefully we'll catch this big mama rat. The Alaga plan. <laughs> <laughs>